throughout everything that's been going on, I've been kind of neglecting just getting some basics, basic essentials for, I don't know if it's about basic essentials for life, but basic essentials for me. So, we are going to head to Target. I got a big McKinnon backpack with Tater Tot's hair and slobber all over it. I gotta get some shirts, because I think these have some like stains, and I also gotta get some sparkling water. I don't know if it's getting old or a coping mechanism, but I'm really a fan of sparkling waters. And then, I gotta get a lint roller. <laughs> the man of the hour. So I think the goal is going to be shove sparkling water and shirts in there. And then I might bring, obviously, his treats, and maybe, We barely made it a block, and this dude is already slugging it. With the rate that this guy's going, I think it might be better just to Uber and then walk the rest of the way. So, the ladybug. So we'll try it there. So far, we made it from here, from there. So, uh, not very far. Clearly, both Tater and I need walks because, for one, he's already tired as hell. Two, I wouldn't mind Ubering. <laughs> What's Tater the size of this palm tree? We found a palm tree that is uh, Tater's height. Liquid shortening, Tater just short. I'm taking a break here because Tater is tuckered out. I'm okay with taking the slower, slower route as long as we actually get to our destination. We are actually kind of far and uh, if he's this tired, maybe we should Uber the rest of the way. At this point, I can't really tell what he wants to do. Especially when it comes to times like this, taking the day just to enjoy it as is, is a, is a treat in its own right. This is comical. I thought we were going to go, but then he just uh, readjusted himself. Secret weapon. A feature that no one has ever seen before. I got treats in my pocket. My treat. Do you want a treat? No, oh, let's go. Come on, let's go. Do you want a treat? Do you want a treat? Oh, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this distinguished gentleman ready to go because I have a treat in hand. <laughs> the other day, a client and I were talking about kind of what's going on a little bit. And I told him that right now my life could be a Greek tragedy. And he was kind of surprised because out of all the years he's known me, he's never known me to express any level of negativity going on in my life. He's too lazy to walk. So I had to carry him. Look at the belly. <laughs> Secure the water. Hold on. So in the recent times, a lot of people have asked me how I feel about everything that's been going on. And I tell them how I feel about the other person, how my kid is doing, how you know we're balancing everything out with Tater. And they're telling me that's not what they're asking. What they're asking is how am I handling everything? Because they want to know that my well-being is being taken care of that at the end of the day, even though as a parent, as a father, as, as a husband, my goal was to provide for other people and I definitely have given a lot of myself for everyone else and and I don't think it's a bad thing I think it's I think it'd be a scary place if I wasn't aware of what was going on if I wasn't aware of what I'm sacrificing for other people how I've neglected myself in certain capacities um, definitely haven't been physically taking care of myself I should probably run as much as I wanted to uh, Joel is actually with Tater Tot right now, going to the dog park in a wagon, which is super cute. So I'm going to go meet up with them in a little bit. And that's a pretty decent walk away. You know, I've been taking Tater on walks and all that, but I'm not actually physically going to the gym or even just going a long walk by myself and decompressing, which I think is huge when it comes to um, things like this. And I think that's one thing I've been lacking as of late. I think that's why the mental capacity for everything has been kind of going on a slight decline is because I haven't been putting that physical emphasis on myself, knowing that I'm able to give up a little bit of myself to help people has always been something that I've learned, unfortunately have learned the hard way. And that's something I kind of want to do with this whole situation is let this aspect of my life help someone at some point throughout the years of, of my career with cutting hair, I've definitely set aside myself for 
a lot of the clients and their issues. And I don't know necessarily if that was part of the factors of what kind of led to this demise of the relationship. It probably is if I really dissected it while not acknowledging the entirety of what my ex lady, what she needed and what she was asking for. Along the way, I would notice those things be something um, that was essentially a cry for let's, we have something to work on. And I didn't acknowledge it at the time. I wish I did. I think there's a subconscious part of me that is waiting for the what if. How can we make this work? How can we get back to where we used to be? How can, how can I have the one thing I want? And I think that's an aspect of the relationship that I didn't accentuate. I didn't let them know what I wanted. Let them know that I needed them. And that they were the person that I didn't realize I needed in life because I was too busy, too caught up with being the person that other people need and relied on. And yet I probably didn't have never admitted this, but I needed them, you know, too a little too late. Sometimes kind of, that's how it goes. You know, sometimes how it goes is you think you're doing everything right in the time and you think that nothing could go wrong and you don't really prepare for the worst of the worst. And yet when tragedy hits you, you become surprised that it happened. I guess to a certain degree, I appreciate the fact that people have acknowledged me as being strong-willed and strong-spirited. And for me to be able to relinquish some of that and be a little more vulnerable is not a bad thing. I think for a lot of men, that's a hard aspect to reach into, into ourselves is that aspect of vulnerability where we're not being a weak individual. We are just opening up. And that's something I really want to build a community on is giving people a place to open up and be vulnerable and not be judged. And that's kind of why I'm putting these videos out because I know it's hard for a lot of people to talk about this. Um, I do have a blog I'm trying to make, so stay tuned for that. And hopefully some of it provides value to at least one person. And I, that's something I'm very wholeheartedly going to harp on is that all it takes is one person to be impacted by these stories. If I can help one person, that's very fulfilling, just like my soda water. So. If anyone has any other soda water to recommend, let me know in the comments down below because I've been a bitch for these. Let's go meet the kids at the park. Like I've mentioned, even though you go through hard times like this, there's still the beauty in the day that you can look forward to. Let's go. Normally I wouldn't wear headphones, but since I know I can feel on some people in this area, I'm okay with it. Also, Jules made a pretty good playlist. So I gotta listen to that too. Clouds. 